So, Jasmine right here, and we're looking at the weekly time frame, and this does not look good. This does not look good. You know, if you look at Jasmine, uh, the reason this is not looking good, I mean, we are breaking below this support right here. This right here is not good for, for Jasmine. If this continues, you know, if this continues, you know, Jasmine is coming all the way back right here. Jasmine is coming all the way down here. And if you go from the current price, you're looking at a 20% drop. You know, if you go from the current price all the way down to this target. The reason this is not looking good is because you want this level to hold, you know, to avoid this potential drop. You want this level to hold and you want to see Jasmine push all the way up, you know, to retest these levels right here, right? This to me looks like a bearish, you know, M shape. Now, let me show you exactly what I'm looking at. You know, this to me looks like a bearish M shape. Are you watching this? This looks like this. You know, I think we can put something up like that. Bearish M, M pattern. Here it is, guys, ladies and gentlemen. That to me looks like this. I really want you to take a look at this, this pattern right here. Now, if you look at this pattern right here, it looks exactly, it looks exactly like Jasmine. Uh, this pattern right here looks exactly, uh, exactly like Jasmine. Maybe I can stay right here. So, you know, we had the first initial move. We had the pullback. We had the second move, you know, we got rejected, you know, the first top, second top right here, got rejected. We came back to retest the neckline. In terms of Jasmine, this is exactly what we got right here. You had the first top right here. You had a pullback. You had the second top right here. You had a pullback. This is the neckline. This is the neckline right here. Now. This is failing to hold. You know, this neckline right here is failing to hold. So if we lose this, we are going to end up, so you can see the neckline, right, holding as a support. We are going to end up with a big drop. So the aftermath will look something like this, okay? So what we have with Jasmine right now, remember, this is the weekly time frame. Okay, this is the weekly, it's not the daily. So this is a bigger time frame. So this could potentially be, you know, the aftermath once, you know, this pattern is completed. So you're looking at Jasmine, you know, potentially retesting, you know, these levels right here. So this is bearish. And it all started with you know, Binance announcing that they were either going to delist Jasmine or instead of delisting the project, they was going to label Jasmine non-progress. And I talked about how bearish that was for the project. And I talked about how that will potentially suppress, you know, the price of Jasmine. And it looks like I was right. Because Jasmine has performed poorly since you know that announcement, and with the SEC going after Jasmine, uh, going after Coin uh, Binance, it does not help Jasmine at all. That does not help Jasmine at all. The SEC going after Binance does not help Jasmine at all. And I actually think you know it actually puts more pressure on you know projects that were already fragile 
you know, in the eyes of, you know, Binance, because if Binance is getting hit by the SEC, now Binance is going to, you know, reevaluate, you know, tokens they have on their platforms. And when they already have, you know, projects that will labor, you know, non-progress, you know, those are the projects they're going to start with. Those are the projects they are going to delist. So, you know, that is a lot of risk. You know, the SEC situation is a lot of risk for Jasmine. And, you know, I talked about how massively bearish, you know, that is for the price of Jasmine. Because if Jasmine is not available on the biggest, you know, cryptocurrency exchange, like, I don't know where the liquidity is going to come from. And not just Jasmine. I mean, not just Binance, you know, we're now talking about Coinbase as well. So Coinbase is also going to start doing their research on projects they have on their platforms. If Binance gets rid of, you know, Jasmine, like what makes you think Coinbase is not going to get rid of Jasmine? You know, those are the things to think about. You know, maybe this is, you know, a great opportunity, uh, but I think, you know, in the short term, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of pressure and, you know, I don't see how, you know, Jasmine is, you know, really going to do, you know, in this type of environment. So this, again, this entire pattern, you know, looks like this bearish M pattern. And right now, you know, we are failing to hold the neckline. And what that means is that we are going to continue to pull all the way back and the end result is going to look just like this right here. So the price of Jasmine, you know, over the next couple of weeks could potentially be around right here. Now, this is not certainty because there's no certainty in technical analysis. It is all probabilities. But if you look closely, I don't know how, how much I can, I can zoom in, you know, to show you exactly what I'm looking at. But maybe we can try to zoom in even more. If you look closely, if you look closely, you know, we are losing the neckline. And, uh, you know, it looks like, you know, we are destined to come all the way down here. So that, I think, was a fabulous update on Jasmine. Let me know in the comment section. And again, you know, this is a weekly time frame. So if the next morning you wake up and the price of Jasmine is up, just don't get carried away because we are dealing with the higher time frame.